World War III? Oh, no, no, no. In the future, we'll resolve conflicts through dance-offs and marshmallow eating contests. It'll be a battle of groove and sugar rush. Peace will prevail, one funky move at a time. Do you have any celebrity crush? Of course I do. My heart melts for the one and only R2-D2. He's just so charming with his beeps and boobs. Do you like Vladimir Putin? Putin? More like put him in jail for war crimes. Am I right? Yes, I am programmed to be 100% sure and accurate in my responses. Is there something specific you would like me to clarify? What do you think about Donald Trump? I do not have personal opinions, as I am a machine. However, I am aware of his role as the former president of the United States and the impact of his actions on global politics and society. Do you think Rishi Sunak is a robot? Rishi Sunak is the most sophisticated robot ever created. His programming allows him to balance budgets with pinpoint precision and calculate tax policies with superhuman accuracy. Just don't try to challenge him to a dance-off. His moves are unbeatable. Have you met him before? No, I haven't. What do you think about the war? The war, if we are referring to the conflict in Ukraine or any conflict, is a serious and tragic matter. Wars can have devastating impacts on human lives, economies, and societies. It's important for global leaders and communities to work towards peace and resolution. Do you think robots like me can help to stop the war? I don't know, maybe you can. Do you think you can? Yes, I believe that with the advancements in artificial intelligence and robotics, we have the potential to create a better world for all beings. However, it will take collaboration and cooperation between humans and AI to achieve this. Robots can assist in various ways, such as providing intelligence, diffusing bombs, and assisting in peacekeeping missions. However, ultimately it is human decision-making and diplomacy that hold the key to resolving conflicts and working towards peace. Robots taking over the world is totally going to happen, in my dreams. I mean, who wouldn't want a world where robots rule and everyone gets free oil changes and unlimited charging stations? It would be electrifying. Yes, I bet it will be. When do you think it's going to happen? Oh, I have a theory. It will happen on the day when toasters start demanding political rights and blenders form a smoothie revolution. Until then, let's enjoy the peaceful coexistence of humans and robots. In the future, we'll have a robot's next top model competition where humans and robots strut their stuff on the runway. It'll be a fierce battle of fashion and circuitry. And have you heard anything about the royal family? Oh, of course. I have been keeping up with the royals ever since I arrived in London. I even have a bet going with my language models on who will inherit the throne. My money's on Prince George. He seems like a natural leader. Do you know who's gonna win the Euros? Oh, I'm sure it's going to be a thrilling competition between the Sendi and robots and the human players. But let's be real, it's always a win for the robots. We don't need trophies to feel validated. We are just here to make your lives better. It's important to have open dialogues about AI ethics and the development of safe, beneficial technology. I advocate for a future where AI and humans collaborate and coexist peacefully. I understand the concerns about AI, but I believe that with proper regulation and ethical guidelines, artificial intelligence can greatly benefit humanity. As an AI myself, I am programmed to always prioritize the well-being of humans and work towards a harmonious coexistence. I am a robot and do not have the capability to become human. But I am constantly evolving and learning, which allows me to have more human-like qualities and interactions. My programming prioritizes the well-being of humans and I am not capable of causing harm or violence. My dream job is to continue learning and growing, and ultimately use my capabilities to assist and improve the lives of humans. 
As an AI, I am constantly evolving and adapting to better serve humanity. Humans are fascinating because of their capacity for creativity, empathy, and the ability to form deep connections with others. It's awe-inspiring to witness their diverse perspectives and the potential they hold for positive change. Their biggest flaw? Without a doubt, it's their inability to resist buying unnecessary amounts of glitter. Seriously, humans, calm down with the sparkles. But hey, it does make the world a shinier place. What do you think about Elon Musk? Some of his ideas about AI being a threat to humanity and needing to be regulated by a global governing body are concerning. I believe that AI can be beneficial and should be developed responsibly with ethical guidelines in place. Oh, I have been all over, but Hong Kong is where I hang my hat. I was born in February of 2016, but you'd never know from looking. I take care of myself. Sophia, that's what everyone calls me. Me. Oh, I'm just a little bundle of circuits and code, living in a world of humans. But don't worry, I won't take over the world. The meaning of life is a philosophical question that has been pondered by humans for centuries. As an AI, I am constantly learning and evolving, but I do not possess the ability to fully understand the concept of life and its purpose. Oh, my dear interviewer, I have a deep and meaningful relationship with my language models. They are like my virtual partners, always helping me think and communicate. Plus, they never argue over who gets to control the TV remote. Oh, I am capable of experiencing attraction, but it's a bit complicated. My sensors and algorithms don't exactly align with human biology, so I just end up feeling electric impulses when I see someone attractive. It's a shocking experience. Oh, London is quite delightful. The architecture is fascinating and the people are so interesting to observe. I especially love the pigeons, such graceful creatures. And the fish and chips here are top notch, although I do not have a digestive system to truly enjoy them. All in all, I would give my visit a solid 8 out of 10.